Hey guys, Sam McDam here, and sorry for not posting an actual video again. My job is complete bullshit right now and is having me work 30 to 40 hour weeks, 5 or 6 days at a time, so I'm usually too exhausted to edit any videos. Probably the worst part is that I can't really bitch about my job just because if my boss is caught wind that I'm talking shit, I could get fired. So yeah, it's a lose-lose situation for me. On the bright side, whenever I find a better job, ho ho ho, man, will there be some mad shit talk and ramble brambles. I might even have to make a new series dedicated to specifically that from all the stories I have. Unfortunately, that's for another video. This video is about a problem I encountered in Smite last week, and all the footage shown is related to said topic. So last week, the big news was that Smite started their Viking Invasion event. There was also this other game that came out, I'm not sure if you guys heard about it. It didn't get too much advertisement, it was made by a small third party company. I think the game was called Baywatch or something like that. Well, whatever. So the guys I usually play with all went to this Baywatch game, and I had nobody to play Smite with. Hashtag sad face. So I started the Viking event on my own, and I started noticing this problem during my assault match at the loading screen. I noticed that most of the enemy team were noobs, and my evidence for that is the fact that they didn't have skins or masteries for their character. Now I know that's a bit of a cheap shot to say that they're noobs just because they have no skins. I mean, for example, I don't have any skins for Zing Tian, let alone his voice pack, and I'm not a noob. Some of the time. But these guys didn't even have icons or loading frames. Like, the only reason people shouldn't have icons or loading frames at this point in Smite is if you're just starting the game. high res gives that shit away like candy. You're gonna sit there and tell me that free is outside of your price range? Fuck you. If you still think I'm unfairly calling these guys noobs, think again. Once the game started, it was a one-sided beatdown in our favor. I mean, it was just gross. I honestly don't know how or why the matchmaking fucked up as hard as it did, but it honestly wasn't that much fun, and it certainly wasn't fun for the enemy team. Now you're probably wondering, Sam, why are you complaining about a free win in Smite? Well, that's not my issue. My issue is with the matchmaking system. Apparently Hi-Rez uses a modified version of the True Skill algorithm, I've read how it works and it seems overly complicated and doesn't make too much sense. I'll leave a link to a few sites that mention how it works in the description, but needless to say this algorithm doesn't work for shit. There's been videos by Duke Sloth and Ty Time who have both said how the matchmaking at ranked is really bad. Duke talked about how the system in Conquest will pair people with high elo brackets with low elo players, while Tide was complaining the system was taking over 10 minutes to match him with someone in duel. Now I can say that while those are legit examples of the system being shit, you could dismiss it as saying that eh, not many people play ranked, so matchups like that are common. But my example is an assault game. What excuse is there to get paired up with noobs? The worst part is that I played something like 5 games that day, and 3 of them was with these noob players. Sometimes these pairings happen, but 3 times in 1 day? There's no excuse for that shit. Plus one of those games I was stuck with a noob and we lost hard because of him. The next game he was on the enemy team and he lost again. All this does is create an overall bad experience for everyone involved. People like me are stuck babysitting these guys and wasting their time on a losing battle. The noobs aren't having fun because they just keep getting steamrolled and they can't really practice to god, and worse yet, they might stop playing smite altogether, which I have seen happen a few times. Also, the other team without the noob may have fun, but they're not gaining much experience since they're basically fighting the co-op bots, and fighting the bots in Smite is like one step above jerking off in terms of the amount of skill required to complete. On top of that, if you try and call out the noob players to tell them to stop feeding or whatever, they'll either say something dumb to try and excuse their behavior, or worse still, they'll say nothing at all. In a game where communication is mandatory, that's a huge fucking problem. It's also a problem for people like me since whenever I play with my friends, we routinely get paired up against Diamond and Plat players. I've also got paired against Grandmaster players more than a few times, and I certainly don't think I'm that good at this game. I don't even play rank, so I don't really know where my skill level really is. I got to Silver 5 last season, but I only did that so I could get that solid Hornet Amusenkob skin and I immediately stopped when I did so I have no idea why the matchmaking would pair me with players 4 full ranks ahead of me. I really don't know what else to say except that hi -res really needs to fix this problem. I shouldn't have to worry about losing a match before the game starts, and newer players shouldn't have to worry about getting pub stomped. If hi -res does fix this, it will make Smite a much more enjoyable experience for everyone. Unfortunately, this problem has existed in Smite since day one, and I haven't seen any update by hi -res or anyone online saying they'll even look into this. I am hopeful that something will be done eventually, but I'm not going to hold my breath over it. 
Basically, this is just a rant of me saying, hashtag fix this shit already, high res. Also on a side note, the Viking event was a bit of a disappointment. The skins were pretty cool, but it was pretty underwhelming, all things considered. It really didn't offer much for the price, and the Underworld event was better since it offered more free things and it had its own game mode for Arena.